In January 1850, Marianist brothers, members of the Society of Mary, arrived in Cincinnati. Because of a cholera epidemic, they moved north to the city of Dayton and founded two important centers of learning, which over time have become Chaminade Julienne Catholic High School and the University of Dayton. In 1852, the Marianist arrived in San Antonio and approached evangelization the same way, by opening schools. Their legacy in San Antonio is Central Catholic High School and St. Mary's University. Blessed William Joseph Chaminade, who founded the Society of Mary in France in the early years of the 19th century, died several months after these Marianist brothers came to the United States. Within 30 years, Marianists were making their way across North America, landing in Honolulu Harbor in 1883 and celebrating the Eucharist for the first time in the cathedral with St. Damien. Today, two institutions of learning attest to their zeal and commitment, St. Louis School and Chaminade University in Honolulu. In the years that followed, Marianist schools opened from California to Florida, from Nebraska to Puerto Rico, and from New York to Ireland. The Marianists from the United States continued to extend their educational influence to East and West Africa, Korea, Peru, Lebanon, Australia, Mexico, India, the Philippines, and even China. They also began retreat centers in New Jersey, Ohio, Missouri, and Texas. Despite many hardships and sacrifices, the brothers who first arrived in the United States created an amazing legacy, teaching thousands of young people under the guidance of Jesus and Mary. But like the biblical seed that grew to enormous proportions, the efforts and the zeal of the first Marianists in the United States have borne tremendous fruit. But we now live in a very different world, and we realize that Father Chaminade was far ahead of his time. Our church has emphasized the role of the laity in evangelization since the Second Vatican Council. Pope Benedict XVI promoted the role of the laity. And when he was beatified in 2000 by Blessed John Paul II, the Pope called Father Chaminade the Apostle of the laity. We believe that this is a providential moment to renew the apostolic methods of Blessed Chaminade. Our role, as he would say, is to multiply Christians. As our founder taught, New challenges call for new methods, and a new fulcrum is needed to move the modern world. He applied his genius and creativity to the problems of his day, and we must do the same. For almost two years now, our province has been studying more intensely the issue of sponsorship. This is a major element of our strategic plan, Vision 2020. Recently, the final sponsorship proposal of our task force was accepted by province leadership. For many years, the province has promoted partnerships with lay institutional leaders and lay boards and shared governance power with them. Our new sponsorship model will expand and strengthen these relationships. This structure will further promote the mission of the Catholic Church and the Marianist spirit and the charism of Blessed Chaminade and Venerable Adele and Marie Therese. We have created a new Office of Sponsorship, which we hope to implement by January 2014. We will communicate with our lay leaders and diocesan leaders, as well as our collaborating religious congregations and ministry partners to ensure a smooth transition. The province will establish a sponsorship commission of five appointed volunteers that will oversee the sponsorship program. The sponsorship office, comprised of a director and several staff members, will carry out the day-to-day -day work of the program and will be accountable to the sponsorship commission. The office will ensure compliance with our sponsorship agreements, carry out regular visits, and arrange for formation programs. The sponsorship office will be located in St. Louis. The province leadership team will maintain its present corporate and fiduciary responsibilities with incorporated ministries. There will be no changes to bylaws, board membership, and agreed levels of approval and ratification. 
we will be more intentional in our formation efforts. Our lay collaborators will have more opportunities to receive formation in the Marianist spirit and charism. Our Office of Formation for Mission in Philadelphia and the North American Center for Marianist Studies in Dayton will bring many resources to assist in this effort. The pioneering Marianist who came to the United States and the Hawaiian Islands in the 1800s had no idea what their efforts to teach and evangelize would produce. As St. Paul said, one plants, another waters, but it is God who gives the growth. The Marianist charism is alive and well, seeking to strengthen faith and, like Mary, bringing others to a deeper relationship with Christ. The Marianists are committed to providing the formation and resources to enhance this gift from God. The Marianist charism and to partner with lay collaborators and lay Marianists in the new work of evangelization the church is calling them to. The Marianist charism will flourish long into the future with this opportunity to extend that charism and spirit.